So we're now going to add our bottom connectors. So I've, in this case, I've got, I'm using foam on my exterior. It's such a big panel, it's difficult because it, most of it's actually sort of out of shot. But I'm just going to show you this. This is the bottom corner. And we're going to make um, a mark that is three inches from the bottom edge. Now for me, that's actually really easy because I've done an overlay on the bottom, which is three inches high. Um, and then we're going to measure four and a half inches in. So I'm just going to make that your mark so I know that. This point here, not including that white bit, is three inches from the bottom and it's four and a half inches in. I'm going to take one of my connectors and I'm going to lay it right side down. So the nice shiny side of the grommets is facing down and I'm going to lay it inside of that sort of angle that you've made. So this side here is four and a half inches away from the edge and this bottom straight edge here, this short edge, is three inches from the bottom. I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to manhandle the entire piece of fabric and this is a, a big piece of fabric so let's just put that back where it came from and I'm going to stitch that in place using an eighth of an inch seam that bit of thread there. Let's just and I'm taking my stitch length down to approximately three, which is my sort of construction. Construction length. can see that's attached. I'm going to fold that over. Now if you've got your decoville inside of there you'll find it's quite stiff but the decoville isn't in that top quarter of an inch. It should be out of that top quarter of an inch. I'm just going to get rid of my chalk marks because it's easier to do it now. Um, so I'm folding it over and I'm finger pressing it down and then I'm going to stitch across here. Got a bit of thread that's going to annoy me. Let's just get that, get that on. So I'm taking it back, and this is say it's a large piece of I'm put on the wire for now. The light. If you're using foam and you've got four fold and you've got leather and all sorts this can get quite thick so be aware of what your machine's capabilities are so just one stitch to back stitch at the beginning bits and you can see that connector is now facing towards the bottom. I'm just going to take the connector and I'm just going to kind of lift it up and I'm going to place the bottom edge against the bottom edge. Now if you want to measure it and make sure that that's actually four and a half inches in, you can do. If you're not sure that you've got it nice and straight and then I'm just going to stitch along the bottom edge here. Again, using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. So what you've created is a sort of a hump with, with that little piece of, I'll sort of show you, there you go. You've got a sort of a lump there and that's fine. That's how it should be. Actually, it tends to come up and you end up with a sort of almost like a little mountain. So that's one side. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. So we're going to oh, wrong side of the tape measure, uh, um, ruler even. I'm going to 
take my second strap connector, strap, uh, second rope connector, and I'm going to lay it in that little junction, right sides down. Must make sure that the posh side of the grommet is facing downwards. Stitching at a, an eighth of an inch. Holding it down, get rid of your chalk marks, increase the seam allowance, that's it, the uh, stitch length, and stitch across. Now the seam allowances for all of these pieces is in the pattern. It does change from one place to another, so do read the pattern as well. Because oh, and that's just going to pop the bottom bit down again in exactly the same way. Just making sure it's four and a half. As long as it's it's been put on straight, it should come down and be four and a half anyway. Um, I'm going to stitch across the bottom. And there we have our two uh, bottom rope connectors connected. <laughs>